Hi everybody, I'm Brian Gaffney here with Codex. Welcome to NAB 2019. I'm here excited today to talk about a continued partnership with Codex. Codex is the main design and OEM partner with the leading camera manufacturers. And that story continues here at NAB 2019 with the launch of the new Airy Alexa Mini LF. It's a large format camera in a small package. And with that, we're introducing the new Codex Compact Drive, a one terabyte high performance ruggedized capture drive that can hold up to 32 minutes of the Alexa LF Mini. It plugs right into the port on the side of the camera, plugs in, allows you to go to work and start working correctly and shooting large format pictures onto the Alexa LF Mini camera. So once we are done recording in the Aria Alexa Mini camera, I can take the compact drive out directly and Codex has developed a new USB-C reader, lightweight, low cost, plugs into your Mac over a USB-C interface and allow you to actually stick your drive directly into the dock. And here you'll see it actually start to come up onto the desktop. And with our device manager software, you can immediately open up the application. The drive appears on the desktop, as simple as that. Here's my files accessible. And these are MXF wrap files on the new Area Alexa mini camera. And what Codex does is has our high density encoding. High density encoding allows us to actually take these files out of the camera. And even though it's a small camera, these files are 20.9 megabytes in size. And with Codex HDE, we can reduce that by as much as two to one. And with our device manager here, I'm gonna enable high density encoding by clicking on that. It'll auto detect the Airy RAW files. And now my files appear here and I can open them up and copy them onto third party storage through commercial applications like Imagine Products, Shotput Pro, or the Silverstack Lab 6.5 or uh, the Hedge product or other tools out there for copying. And with that, the files now are around 40 to 50% reduced in size. That allows you to keep the pristine negative raw, but actually increase the footprint and density of your storage. So our new Media Vault system, which is 72 terabytes, rated it's about 60 terabytes, but effectively with HDE, it's around 100 terabyte storage because I can take those files, bring them down in size and store them on the system. With that, it creates an ecosystem where now once I have my media on my desktop, I can go into the leading nonlinear applications like Premiere Pro or um, Adobe um, After Effects, or you can go into Final Cut Pro or Motion and start to work on those files directly. In the past, Codex was really the raw recording specialist and we worked on all the high-end cinema features, but with the Aria Alexa Mini, you're recording also the ProRes files onto the compact drive. That brings us effectively into the television market and commercial market and everyone that's gonna be using that. And I'd like to show our new ColorSense software. If you can actually go into it, Ellie, and open it up and show a, a picture, that'd be great. Sure. So we have here, this is ColorSense, which is running in Premiere Pro. Um, it's a a layer-based grading plugin, which expands upon the basic feature set that you get with uh, Lumetri. So you've got some really nice tools for doing color isolations, uh, color remapping, um, fine control of the shadow midtone highlights within your grade. Um, and the plugin will also work in After Effects. So if you're you know, within that creative cloud suite of applications, you can be color correcting in Premiere Pro with ColorSynth, uh, go into After Effects, do a composite, tweak the color using ColorSynth and After Effects and then bring that back onto the timeline in Premiere Pro. So with Codex, here at the show, we're partnering with many companies. We're open, we're working from onset all the way to the post backend, and we're excited to be supporting the Aria Alexa Mini LF, applying our Codex high density encoding, storing it on our Media Vault, and providing the desktop environment with creative tools like ColorSynth and our Codex Keys interface. Thank you for joining us.